Let's take a look at this problem. So 20% of plain M&Ms are orange, they say, and 23% of peanut M&Ms are orange. We take a sample of 240 of each candy, and we're just going to call uh, the proportion for 1 is plain and the proportion for 2 is peanut, and we'll subtract those two. So what does a sampling distribution look like? Well, notation can be important here. So what we're going to say is, uh, on average, if we were to take the two samples and subtract them, right, uh, we would kind of expect it to be pretty similar to what the population is. Why? Because it's an unbiased estimator. So if we took the, the two parameters and subtracted them, we get 0 0.2 minus 0.23 and get negative 0.03. So that would be the center. And remember, this is a proportion problem. So we have to do the standard deviation for proportions. And what that looks like is this. Got a big square root. And this is where we take the sample size, right? We're going to divide by the sample size. Put the proportion and 1 minus the proportion. And then we're going to add that to that other one. Now the sample sizes were the same in this case. And we're going to get 0 0.23 times 0.77. We're going to multiply all that stuff out, plug it in the calculator, and you should get 0 0.037. That's the standard deviation. So here's the center. That's what we expect for the center. And there's the spread. And is it normal? Well, we do that thing where we multiply 0 0.2 times 240, right? And we get 0.8 multiply that by 240, so it's the sample size times the probability, and 1 minus the probability, so 0.23 times 240, and 0.77 times 240. Oops, not 0.240, 240. All of these numbers that we multiply separately here, each one of these answers should be bigger than 10, and they are. I'm just not going to do it. So the shape is center, wait, let's see, so the center is right here, spread right here, and it should be approximately normal. Okay, there's the answer to the first one. So this next one is, what's the probability that you select a higher proportion of plain orange M&Ms than peanut orange M&Ms? So what we're looking for is the probability, right, that um, if you took a sample, p hat 1 minus, that's the plane, minus p hat 2. So if this one is bigger than this one and we subtract, we're going to get a number that's bigger than 0. If we subtract the two proportions, do we get a number bigger than 0? Any number bigger than 0. It could be way bigger than 0 or very close to 0. As long as this number is bigger than this number, we're going to get a number bigger than zero. So it's a probability problem, not a significance test. So we're going to do a z-score. Let's see what that looks like. The z-score is, right, the number that we're interested in, which is zero, minus the number that we expect. Well, what number do we expect if we subtract those two? Well, based on letter A, it should be pretty close to point, negative 0 0.03. That's what we expect, because the peanut M&Ms had a larger proportion. At least that's what the company says. So we're going to subtract negative 0 0.03. And then what do we get on the bottom? Oh, we divide by the standard deviation, right? So it's, And we did that in letter A, like that. We don't combine the proportions. That's for a significance test. So we use that same standard deviation, the two separate um, proportions divided by the sample size. In fact, maybe I should write that down. So we're still using 
this standard deviation because it's not a significance test. It's just a probability. So that is where we get the 0 0.037. Okay, so a negative and a negative is a positive, right? So we're going to divide those two. 0 0.03 divided by 0 0.037 and we get 0 0.81. 0 0.81. That's our z-score, right? So what do we do with that? Let's move that down here. We're going to do normal CDF. So normal CDF, negative 1,000 to 0.81. What is that telling us? So here we are at 0 and 0.81 standard deviations above the average. And if we plug that in the calculator, it tells us this area here. Right, from negative 1,000 to 0.81, and it's 0 0.79. 0 0.79 is this area, but we want to know the area above that bigger than 0, okay? And we subtract it from 1, and we get, basically, in the calculator, I got 0 0.2089, 0 0.2089. Nine. It's kind of like our p-value, right? It's the probability. So I'm just going to round it up. Do we have a 21% chance of that happening? So 21% chance that we get a bigger proportion of plain M&Ms that are orange than we do peanut M&Ms that are orange. Is that statistically significant? Um... Not really, because who cares, right? Okay, but we did the problem, and now we know there's a 21% chance of that happening. Done.